I welcome you to this session of logical reasoning. In this session, we will take a look at some concepts related to cubes and cutting of rectangles and cubes. Suppose there is a question of finding the minimum number of cuts. For example, find the minimum number of cuts required to cut a square into 12 pieces of equal size. How should we go about solving such a question? In this case, let's take a square here and let us try to apply different cuts in different ways to this square to identify how we can arrive at a solution to find the minimum number of cuts required to cut a square into 12 pieces. And then we can generalize. So the first thing we do is we have vertical, horizontal, we have the cuts and we have pieces. One must understand that the number of pieces generated will be one more than the number of cuts along any dimension. For example, if we apply all the 11 cuts, because for 12 pieces, we will require 11 cuts in vertical direction. So we apply all 11 cuts in vertical direction and there is no horizontal cut. So we will get 12 pieces out of 11 vertical cuts and we will get one piece out of zero horizontal cuts. The total number of pieces will be 12 into 1 that is 12. So number of vertical pieces into number of horizontal pieces will give us the total number of pieces. So we saw that 11 cuts were required to cut this particular square into 12 pieces. Can we reduce the number of cuts required? Let us see if we can reduce. So vertical and horizontal cuts and pieces. Suppose we give first of all only five cuts along the vertical direction. So you see here we have one, two, three, four and five cuts along the vertical direction and one cut along the horizontal direction. So there is one cut along the horizontal direction. So five vertical pieces will give cuts will give rise to six pieces one horizontal cut will give rise to two pieces. Total number of pieces will be 6 into 2 that is equal to 12 here. Similarly, now we get same 12 pieces by applying only 6 cuts. Previously, we had got these 12 pieces by applying 12 cuts. Now, let us apply 3 cuts vertically and two cuts horizontally. So three cuts will give four pieces. Two cuts will give three pieces. So total number of pieces will be equal to four into three, 12. So we see that as the number of vertical cuts and number of horizontal cuts, they become near to each other. We see that the number of pieces are maximized. And in the third case, we were able to generate 12 pieces only out of 5 cuts. So first case, we had 11 horizontal cuts. Second case, we had 5 vertical and 1 horizontal, total of 6 cuts. Third case, we had 3 vertical and 2 horizontal, a total of 5 cuts. So we can draw a conclusion in order to cut a bigger square into a given number of pieces, minimum cuts are obtained by resolving the given number as a product of two factors. So 12 could be resolved as a product of two factors. In case of a square and a product of three factors in case of a cube because cube will have three lengths, length, breadth and height. We are right now considering only a square. So 12 resolved into a product of two factors, say 4 into 3. And these factors must be as close as possible. Ideally, they should be equal. But if they cannot be equal, the factors must be as close as possible. So 12 resolved into factors 4 and 3. So 4 pieces should be generated along one dimension and 3 pieces should be generated along another dimension. So 3, 4 pieces along vertical we get and 3 pieces along horizontal. So for 4 pieces we require 3 cuts and for 3 pieces we require 2 cuts a total of 5 cuts overall. So the minimum number of cuts required to get 12 
equal pieces from a rectangle will be equal to 5. So continuing the same logic, if we want to generate a maximum number of pieces given a certain number of available cuts, how should we proceed? For example, we have a question, find out the maximum number of pieces of equal size a square can be cut into by giving 5 cuts. So let us try out different possibilities of assigning these cuts. So these cuts can be assigned vertically as well as horizontally. So we have three possibilities. We try out these three. Five vertical and zero horizontal cuts. Option B, one vertical cut and four horizontal cuts. Option C, two vertical cuts and three horizontal cuts. With first option, that is five vertical and zero horizontal, we can generate six pieces. With the second option, option B, with one vertical and four horizontal cuts, we can generate two into five, that is 10 pieces, because one cut will give two pieces and four cuts will give five pieces. So two into five, 10 pieces. Similarly, with option number C, we have two cuts, which will generate three pieces here. And we have three horizontal cuts, which will generate four pieces. So three into four, 12 pieces overall. So we found that by distributing these cuts equally along the vertical and the horizontal direction, we are able to generate the maximum number of pieces in this case, which is 12. So the conclusion in order to obtain maximum number of pieces, distribute the cuts equally as far as possible along the two axes. If we are dealing with a square or a rectangle and three axes in case of a cube or any other 3D object. Let us solve one more question. What is the maximum number of pieces that can be generated by giving seven cuts to a rectangle? So from the preceding discussion, we have the cuts must be divided among the two dimensions, vertical and horizontal or length and breadth equally. But it is not possible to distribute seven cuts equally. So we do the next best thing. We divide them as four cuts along one dimension and three cuts along the other dimension. So what do we get? If we apply four cuts along the length, we get five pieces. If we apply three cuts along the breadth, we will get four pieces. A total of 20 pieces, that is the maximum number of pieces by giving seven cuts to a rectangle. So with this, we come to an end of this session on cubes. In fact, the first session on cutting of cubes. If you have any feedback or any query, feel free to contact us on studentservices at pfindia.com. Thank you.